Fear is an integral part of life. It's a natural reaction to be afraid of something that we believe to be dangerous. In specific situations, it keeps us from harm, right? We don't put our hand near a flame for fear of being burned, and that's a good thing. That's its biological intent. It's part of the reason our species was able to evolve and flourish. But just as it helps us, it can be our biggest obstacle. It becomes easy to see everything as that flame that will burn our hand. We fence ourselves in, we create a comfort zone, because a comfort zone is safe. And because of this, we miss out on some of life's greatest opportunities. Most things worth having live outside of our comfort zone, on the other side of fear. Everyone deals with being afraid. It's who we are. The difference lies in how we handle it. Quoting Peter McWilliams, he says that fear is a part of life, whether we're bravely overcoming obstacles or hiding away scared, we all still face fear. What it comes down to is the decision to attack that fear and grow or to run from it and suffer, to allow fear to limit the life you lead day in and day out. It's been said that a coward dies 1,000 times. A brave man dies but once. It's funny because you start to hear these things so much that they come across as cliche, right? Fear is the great barrier. How many times have we heard that? But when was the last time you woke up and did something about it? Made an effort to do exactly what you're afraid of. Put yourself on the front line. Put yourself out there. These are the experiences that shape our character, where we prove to ourselves that, hey, maybe it's not so bad. Realistically, the worst that could happen is that you don't meet expectations. It's that you fall on your face. In which case, you pick up your pride, you look yourself in the mirror, and you get ready for round two. Because round two means you come back more prepared, knowing what to expect. That's why it's been said that even if you fall on your face, at least you're moving forward. Eventually you'll adapt. This new challenge will become part of you. It becomes okay. It becomes comfortable. And look, just like that, you've expanded your comfort zone. Now you can move on to the next chapter. So remember, the people you admire, the people who have done great things, lit the path for us. It's not that they weren't afraid, it's that they used their fear as a tool for growth, not a crutch. It's part of the reason we have such awe and fascination with the great minds of history. Imagine Neil Armstrong looking back one last time before stepping into the spacecraft that would take human beings to the moon for the first time. Jackie Robinson suiting up for his first game with the Dodgers. The American colonists signing the Declaration of Independence. We don't think about it often, but just imagine if these people gave into the fear they must have felt overcoming these obstacles. What would we have? How different would life be? So my ask of you is that you find a way. You find a way to get to the other side of fear because that's where dreams become reality. It's where your world can change if you just allow it to.